been in the ministry for 50 years. And you get into a lot of retirement homes and nursing facilities. And 50 years, never saw anything like this place. It's so unusual. And of course, uh, if you know anything about the background of this place, it's celebrating the 90th anniversary. And uh, Hannah Atherton, uh, just as a young girl, was burdened for pastors and missionaries and what have you that really didn't have facilities or even the wherewithal to retire. And that was a burden in her heart. And, and she grew up and got married. And they bought the first home to make it into a retirement facility. And, uh, and from that point on, God blessed it. Bless the burden of our heart. And the burden of Hannah Atherton's heart is Atherton Baptist Homes of today. And what an unusual place. It, it just blew me away when I found out there was a place like this. And what also blew me away was the fact that God knew since I believe so much in the sovereignty and the omniscience of God, that God knew back when she founded the Atherton Baptist Homes that Frank McQuaid and Dolores McQuaid were going to be coming here. God knew that back then. Most of the people that moved to a CCRC, uh, Continuing Care Retirement Community, move there for the continuum of care. Um, most of them come in and they're healthy. And something else that God knew was uh, we've been here two years and he knew that after we had been here about a year my wife uh, developed advanced Alzheimer's disease and she needed a special place for caring. Many times there comes a time that they need to move to the next level of care and we try to make it as easy as possible on them. What we've come to do quite often is to get together not only with the resident but their family or maybe their closest friend or someone that, that represents them and they, we sit around the table together and we talk about what we're seeing. And right now she is in FOX 2 and FOX 2 is a skilled nursing place and I don't know that there's another place better anywhere in the country than the skilled nursing facility here at Atherton Baptist Homes. It's a special place in, in every way. It's a special place. But probably the biggest blessing was having my dad here. Um, he had a stroke right at 65 and was paralyzed. And um, just the blessing it was to have him right here where family could come and, and see him here. And we had our family parties here. It was a lot easier to bring parties to my dad than my dad to the parties. And um, just to see the treatment that he got and um, just the, the love that the residents gave to him. None of them knew him when he came here. He didn't know anyone. And a lot of them would come and visit him. And um, one resident in particular would send him cards on his birthday and, and just send him a welcome card when he got here. And over the years, she never forgot his birthday. He was blessed to be here, and it was good to see that even though he was paralyzed and really couldn't speak anymore, that, that people found ways to communicate with him, and he found ways to communicate with them. And um, it's a good thing. It takes us about a million dollars a year to subsidize and take care of the cost mainly of retired ministers and missionaries. That's not easy to raise. And there's some years where we wonder, Lord, at the end of the year, what's going to happen? And He always meets our need. But it's the people who are faithful in supporting Atherton, who love our ministry and love the mission of Atherton, that the Lord works through them. And our success isn't about us, and it's not about the ministers and missionaries and the, the, the spouses of those uh, who are here, it's, it's about a lot about the donors who believe in what happens here. And even if they don't visit every day or even every week or they only stop by once a year, they only come by once a year to take a look at what's happening here, our success is a lot about those who, who believe in us, even from a distance, by their support. 
and we couldn't do it apart from their support financially and through prayer. I always encourage churches to consider putting Atherton in their budget. Uh, this is a good home mission project. It's the continuation of your ministry to your pastor now. Uh, we, we try to take such good care of our pastors and we work on their benefit packages and their medical insurance and, and their retirement and oftentimes we forget that when they reach that age of, of leaving active ministry, uh, many times they don't have that many options and for uh, numbers of our pastors, Atherton has not just been an option, it's been a great place to be, a place to be part of a family and to continue ministering well past retirement. And we do just give thanks and praise to the Lord for bringing us here to Atherton. We are so happy. We've never looked back. This, it's the finest life experience I've ever had. We've seen God honor our prayers too much to question that this is the right way to work and the right way to run a business, his business. We're happy. We're just happy about it. We just love it. Our kids love it. They love to come over here. They're happy because we're happy right now. And that's, that's the best part about that. People don't come here to die. They come here to live. They come here to make the last decades of their life as rich or richer than the earlier decades. I just love it to death. That's, that's about all I can say. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to stay here. This is it. This is it. The Lord should take me whatever time. This is it. For Dolores and myself, we would not want to be any place else in the world than right here at Atherton Baptist Homes. As we're on our way towards our final home, our heavenly home with the Lord, wouldn't want to be any place else but right here. I don't think I could go any place else where I could be this happy. That's the way I feel. <laughs>